Hello, good morning. Um, it is super, super cold right now and I can't turn on the heater because I just turned on the car so I need to let it warm up for a little bit. And really, I should not have my hair up in a ponytail because I can feel the air coming in. It's really, really cold. But anyways, I feel like today's gonna be a good day. I hope it is and I, I, you know, I could just feel it. So hopefully it does, hopefully it is a good day. Um, I'm just gonna let the car keep warming up for a bit and then it is time to go. New beach? Yeah, our uh, former traffic reporter was... Yeah, it's so all... Okay, so maybe I changed my shirt. And maybe it's three days later. It's still super early in the morning. There's birds and people outside. But I feel really good this morning. And actually, I don't really like this shirt. I kind of want to cut this shirt. Just like the collar a little bit because I feel like it's just too... It's like too weird. The cut is a little weird so i think i'm just gonna cut that real quick give me a second okay i think i need to cut it just like a tiny bit more but it's a lot better because now i don't feel the collar i did want to show you guys some of the paintings that i just recently did this year i haven't posted them all but i'm getting there okay so this circle painting we're gonna do another spongebob painting on i know the setting that i want to make with this but i don't know how to execute it properly i have a vision but then i don't know how to execute it so i need to do my research to see if i can find a scene like this in the episode but if not then i'm just gonna have to try to use my artistic skills for once i found some paintings and some pictures on pinterest that i wanted to recreate now keep in mind this is after i haven't painted in months these are my first paintings it took me like a day each to do these we have this purple pink and blue you know this cotton candy cloud sky and then like the little silhouette of the tree and the power lines it's a lot lighter in person like it's showing up on camera a little darker it wasn't really my intention to do a study that was like loose like this it just like kind of happened and then as i realized it was happening i was like okay i'll just continue this for a little bit the next one i did i basically did this exact same thing but i used a different reference picture and this is what i came up with it's this really pretty like neon sky it's also kind of cotton candy vibes but it's a lot more neon and i love it and again with the power lines and the trees and i did add two little birds and i think it's really cute overall and i think it's a lot better than the first one i did okay so this next one i've had saved in my pinterest for i don't know how long for years at this point and it's been saved to my pinterest and i always told myself i was like okay i have to recreate this and i love it i think it looks really really cute and it again it's not for everybody because it's like that loose abstract thing i love it and i feel like i would definitely make like prints of this but i just don't think i can because it is a recreation of somebody else's work so i don't know if like i can legally Okay, so this next one is again another clouds. I really struggle with my clouds, so I feel like just working on clouds a bunch of times just over and over again in different like varieties and stuff, I feel like that's really good practice for me. I don't know, it's again in that loose style. You can definitely like tell like everything's not blended properly and everything, but I think it's really cute. I think that if I improve on my skills, I could do it better. Okay, and then the next one, again from Pinterest. I don't know how many years, but it was in my Pinterest for years, but this is the painting it's just the blue sky purpley clouds again the silhouette trees i feel like this whole grassy area i just had like trouble on like i feel like i couldn't get the right colors that i wanted whole thing i was also experimenting with a new brand but i'm not mad at it it's just that i need more practice with it you know what i mean but i like it i think that that's cute okay this one i also took off of pinterest i think it might be photoshopped i think it's a photoshop picture but i have no idea but i think that i could have done better with this because I like the way that it looks, but I feel like if I just paid a little bit more attention to detail, I could have done it a little bit better. But yeah, I think it's really cute and it looks really dreamy and I think it's so beautiful. And finally, we're on the last painting and I think the original painting obviously looks a lot better, but this is cute. And again, you can see what I was going for. It's this beautiful like beach sunset scene and it's got like, but the roses on the side, a rose bush. But again, I think I could do better in the future. But for now, that was my little loose series collection and I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of myself for this, but I feel like now it's time to get back to my bigger paintings. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys the paintings that I'm currently working on. I can't really get good lighting or good sound. Okay, so the first painting that I wanna tell you guys about is about this tulip painting. It kinda looks like a still life painting, if that makes any sense. I feel like, again, the colors could have been a little better, but I'm, I'm working with brand new paint here. I don't know how to work on, I'm not the best with color theory, so I don't know exactly yet. But I love it and I think it is so, so beautiful. It is one of the prettiest paintings I've ever done. And you can definitely see the texture of the painting that I had under. 
was this like Bob Ross inspired painting and I think I did it back when everybody was doing the Bob Ross paintings but I end up not liking that painting so I was like you know what I'm gonna go over it and I decided to do this and I think it's so beautiful and I'm so happy with it and this next painting that I'm currently working on is a painting of my home really it's POV you're me sitting in the corner on the floor in my grandma's living room just painting and that is my art studio so I have like a whole nice point of view of the whole house and I love it that is my home I think that this is going to be one of my favorite paintings it's very sentimental right now as I'm painting it but yeah these are the th those are the two paintings that I currently had okay thank you guys for watching I love you so much and if you did watch for this long I really really appreciate you thank you thank you for being here okay I love you bye